Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I've made a lesson that I hope is going to help you with subtraction with regrouping. Warning, when you subtract, the top number must be larger or the same as the bottom number. You can take 2 away from 5, but you cannot take 5 away from 2. If the top number is smaller, you need to borrow. But what you need to keep in mind is that when you borrow, you can only borrow from your neighbor. So if you're in the ones place value, the only one you can borrow from is your neighbor in the tens. And if you're in the tens place value, the only one you can borrow from is the number that's in the hundreds. We're going to give this a try. The first thing I do when I have a subtraction problem is I look and I make sure that the top number is bigger than the bottom number. And if it is, then I go ahead and I cover up everything but the numbers that I'm working with. And since I'm going to start with the 5 and the 2, I'm going to cover up everything but what's in the 1's place. Okay, I'm going to look at it. Is the top number bigger or the same as the bottom? Yeah, it sure is. It's bigger than the bottom number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my fists be this bottom number 2, and I'm going to count up to 5. So here we go. That's 2, 3, 4, and 5. How many fingers did it take me to get up there? It took me 3 fingers. So that's the number I'm going to write at the bottom. Now I'm going to look at what's in the tens place. Again, I'm going to look at it. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? No, it's not. So what do I need to do? I need to borrow from my neighbor. And the only neighbor I can borrow from is who's in the hundreds place value. So this one needs to borrow from someone in the hundreds. Let me take a look. Yeah, there's something I can borrow. So I'm going to mark out this 9 and make it an 8. And the one that I borrowed, I'm going to put in front of this one and make him an 11. And now I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to count up. I'm going to make my fists be 5, and I'm going to count up to 11. So I'm starting with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. How many fingers did it take me to get to 11? It took me six fingers, so that's what I'm going to write at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cover it, uncover it the rest of the way and look at the hundreds place value. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? It sure is. So I'm going to make my fist be the four, and I'm going to count up. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. How many fingers did it take me? It took me four. So that's the number I'm going to write at the bottom. Let's try it again. The first thing I look at is, is my top number bigger than my bottom number? It is. So I'm going to cover up everything but the numbers that I'm going to be working with. In this case, it's the ones place value. Now look at that. Is the top number larger than the bottom? No, it's not. So you need to borrow from your neighbor. The ones place value can only borrow from the tens place value. And there is something I can borrow. So I'm going to mark out this 2 and make him a 1. And the 1 that I borrow, I'm going to put in front of this 5 and make him a 15. And now I'm going to count up. I'm going to make my fists be 9, and I'm going to count up to 15. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. How many fingers did it take? It took six fingers, so that's what I write at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to move this over now. Is one larger than seven? No, it's not, so what do I need to do? I need to borrow from my neighbor. And the tens place value can only borrow from the hundreds. There's something that I can borrow, so I mark out the eight and make him a seven. And the one that I borrow, I put in front of the other one and make him an eleven. I'm going to make my fists be 7, and I'm going to count up to 11. So I start out with 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 
How many fingers did it take me? It took me four, so that's the number I write here. Now I'm going to move these all the way out of the way. Is seven larger than four? It sure is. I'm going to make my fists be four, and I'm going to count up to seven. Four, five, six, and seven. How many fingers did it take? It took three, so that's the number I write at the bottom. Let's do one more. Okay, the first thing I want you to notice is, is the top number larger than the bottom? It is. So I'm going to cover up everything but the numbers I'm working with, which is who's in the ones place. Okay, now look at it. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? No, it's not. So what am I going to do? I'm going to borrow from my neighbor. The only place value the ones can borrow from is the tens. And there's something for me to borrow. I'm going to mark out the four and make him a three. And the one that I took away, I'm going to put in front of that eight and make him an 18. And now I'm going to count up. I'm going to have my fist be nine, and I'm going to count up to 18. Well, there's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It took me how many fingers? It took me nine fingers to count up to 18. So that's the number I'm going to write here at the bottom. I'm going to move this over now. Let's look. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? No, it's not. So what do I need to do? I need to borrow from my neighbor. The only place value the tens can borrow from is the hundreds. And there's something that I can borrow. I mark out the five and make him four. And the one that I borrow, I put in front of the three and make him 13. Now I'm going to make my fist be seven. And I'm going to count up to 13. There's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. How many fingers did it take? It took six fingers. That's the number I write at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to move these all the way out of the way. Is the top number bigger than the bottom? It sure is. I'm going to make my fist be two, and I'm going to count up to four. Two, three, and four. How many fingers did it take? It took two. That's the number I write at the bottom. You did a great job. Now, I want you to see if you can solve more difficult subtraction problems by going to my lesson, Subtraction with a Middle Zero. Keep at it. Good job.